Good evening. Good evening, uh, teacher. How are you, Francisco? I am very good, teacher. Excellent. Ready for the class? You're ready, that's nice. Yes. So how was your day? Um, this day very busy. Oh, okay. In my work. You had work? Yes. All right. But was it all right? Yes, yes. All right. All, all fine. Okay, very good. And how okay. about the platform, Francisco? Have you been working on that? Yes, I am work in the platform in the point four point eight. Four point eight. Okay. Yes. That's very good. Okay, teacher. So hello Rodrigo, how are you? I cannot hear you, Rodrigo. Can you check your microphone, please? It's weird, I see your microphone on, but I cannot hear you. Maybe try to unplug the, the headset and then put it back again. Good evening, Hilda. Good evening, teacher. How are oh, you? I'm good, teacher. Excellent. Yes. A little tired, but it'll be fine. Okay. How was your day? It's good because oh. only work in my in my job and in my house. Okay. In my job. In my job, prepare document. No, only that normal. teacher. Nothing special. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty okay. good. Thank you, teacher. Good evening, Juan Carlos. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm very well, teacher. Okay, very good. How was your day? Uh, today, relax, teacher, in my house. I'm glad to hear that. So it was your day off? Yeah, teacher, I, I, I work in my house. Okay, that's very nice. And how about the platform, Juan Carlos? Have you been working on that? Um, sec section, section five finished, teacher. You finished? Section five finished. Yeah. Section right. five finished. Section. Great. Okay, so good evening, Vicky. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? I'm doing great. Thank you. So how was your day? Um, all day I was in a meeting. Oh, okay. So it was mm -hmm. busy. Yes, teacher. Yeah, I can imagine. Mm -hmm. And how about the platform, Vicky? Have you been working um, it? Section 4.10. Okay, that's very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you. Good evening, Rodrigo. Good evening, teacher. Can you hear me? 
Yes, I can hear you. How are you? Okay. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. Okay. I don't. <laughs> it's okay because uh, I think that you can hear me when I uh, fix in the computer and oh. I try <laughs> to connect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. No, don't worry. Uh, here I am. Okay, ready. <laughs> All right. That's nice. How was your day? Uh, fine, fine, good, very good. Um, I think that um, I like this day because uh, in the end of the year um, we can uh, make it uh, more more things with my customers. Okay, pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and how about the platform, Rodrigo? I am on the last part and the five part okay mm -hmm. you're in the last section that's yeah good. last section okay excellent good. and what's the weather like where you live and um, vicky hello what's the weather like over there um hot teacher it's hot oh here it's mm -hmm. cold mm -hmm. okay interesting yes good evening morena good evening teacher how are you i'm fine excellent yeah. how was your day Oh, very stressful. Oh, it was stressful? <laughs> yeah. That's pretty bad. Yes. <laughs> but, but we're glad it's over. Thanks God, thanks God, thanks God we have a yo. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's important to have one, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and how about the platform, mm -hmm. Morena? Have you been working on it? Sorry, no, 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 hearing, no listen. Oh, yeah, I was asking you about the platform. Have you been working on it? Uh, I work on two units. Okay, the first two sections. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, keep going, continue working, okay? Yes, okay. Very good. Good evening, Marina. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Uh, fine, but this day, very busy. It was busy, okay. But was it all right? Uh, excuse me? Was it all right? Yes. Okay. Great. And how about the platform, Marina? In what section are you I, in? Uh, for section three. Section three, okay. Yes, you have to keep on working then. Thank you, teacher. Hello? Okay. Good evening, Silvia Roxana. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, teacher. And you? Excellent. I'm doing pretty well. Okay. So how was your day? Um, I... I have uh, more work, more work, teacher. More work than usual. Okay. Yes, yes. Well, you must be tired. Yes. Yeah. And how about the platform, Sylvia? Have you been working on that? Yes, teacher. Okay, pretty well. 
Are you in section four already? Uh, uh, six, section five. You're in section five. That's yes. nice. You're almost oh, almost done. Getting to the end. Very mm. good. Okay, did. All right, so I think we're ready to start with the class. So let me just get my presentation. And let's see, here I have it. So welcome everybody to our third class. So let's see what we have for today. Um, well, first of all, let's remember about the possessive adjectives. Remember that yesterday we studied, a, well, possessive adjectives and also object pronouns, right? Let's start by reviewing the possessive adjectives. Do you remember which ones are the possessives? My. Me. My. Ah. Your. Your. His. His. Her. Her. Here. It. It. It's our it, our and the last one there, 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 there right there. There. there so here you have them right remember that we have a different adjective for each of the pronouns so for I we say my for you your he his she her it it's we our and they there. So now please repeat. My. 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 Your. 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 His. 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 Hair. 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 It's. 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 Okay, just make that sound at the end. It's because it's, 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 it's like this one, right? It, and it's different. It's, we have it, it it's, it, 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 it's, it's. Okay, next one is our. 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 And at last we have there. 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 there you. Okay, so we said that. As, it, as their name says, they are for talking about possession, right? For talking about the things I have or you have or any person has, right? So let's see, here I have some sentences for you to complete. There are 10. Let me send you to the breakout rooms to work in small groups and just complete the sentences by adding the correct a possessive adjective. For example, in number one, it would be my father is driving his, his new car. His, his his new car. car. Exactly. His, his, new, his car. new car. His new car. So that's what you have his to do. You just have to choose the correct possessive adjective my, your, his, her, our, or their, or its. Okay. So let me send you to the breakout rooms. If you'd like to write the exercise down, that would be great. If not, you can only do it in an oral um, way, okay? Okay. All right, so there you go. And I'll send a picture to the WhatsApp chat, okay? Okay. There you go. You got five minutes to work on this. If not, it, we are yeah. confusion. Rocks on one and rocks on two. Rocks on part one, oh, rocks on uh, part two. 
both Roxanas in the same group. <laughs> the revenge of Roxana and the first part of Roxana. <laughs> She is Roxana. I am Sylvia. Sylvia. What difference? <laughs> yes. Two is better than one. Two is better uh, than okay. one. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mm. Uh, so did you get the Yes. Okay. Yes, Father. The first sentence is father is driving his new his, car. His new car. His new car. Hello, what's no, your name? Say. Hello, what is name, sir? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? No. Number three, I have a sister. Uh, her name. My name is Mary. Her name is Mary. Uh, her name. No, her, her name. name. I have a sister. Here. Her name. Her name is Mary. The cow. Okay. The cow. Number ate. four. The cow. The cow. Ate. The cow. Ate. Um. Yeah. Seven. It, I have name. a pet. I have a pet. Y uh -huh. it's, its name it is Babu. 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 Pero Babu. vaya, por ejemplo, si fuese mi gato, si fuera mi mascota, diría his name is Babu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Well, so, <laughs> yes. Um, well, remember that we use it for animals and things, right? Okay. So, yeah. uh, well, grammatically, the correct one would be it, but it. we can also say his or her, depending on uh -huh. the gender of the animal. And it will depend basically in how much you love your pet. You know, if it's. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. You, you call it he. Uh, it's like a, my son. Exactly. <laughs> it's, like yes. it's family. It's family. It's family. Okay. Yes. Correct. <laughs> So yes, okay. um, grammatically you should call it it, but if you want to call it he or she, it's fine too. But in my heart, it's, it's, my, it's, it's my song. Yeah, I understand <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, okay, we both... Uh, we uh, both our fruit, our fruit, yes. Our, yeah. our, yes. Our fruit, okay. Uh, number nine? Sí, yo creo que okay. ya solo son diez. Y la que me genera, o la que nos generó duda es la cuatro y la siete. Teacher, so. you? Hi. Uh, yes. yes. Um, four. The call uh, eight. It. It says number four, the cow eight. Uh, what do you say? It. it it's exactly ah, okay. it's food mm -hmm. it's food yes. oh, it's we're and talking about the cow's food so mm -hmm. it's food. Okay. And, and seven and seven i have a pet i have a pet a pet so your name is cow or it it's we're talking about the it's. pet's name mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. it yes it okay thank you teacher you're Thank you, teacher. So you're done. Yes. Yes. Okay. So we're getting back to the main session now. Okay. 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 Bye. All right, so we are back. Let's just um, check all together. Let's see, um, Franklin Mauricio, can you read number one and complete it, please? Okay, okay, teacher. Uh, at the first, my father is driving his new car. Exactly, his new car, thank you. Rodrigo, number two, please. <clears throat> 
Hello, what's your name? Exactly, thank you. Next one, um, Silvia Roxana, number three. Uh, I have a sister. Mm. It, my name is Mari. So we're talking about your sister's name. So that would be? Her name is Mari. Exactly. Thank you, Sylvia. I have a sister. Her name is Mary. Next one, Vicky. They call I eight. Eight. It's food quickly. Thank you. Very good. The cow ate its food. We're talking about the cow's food, right? The cow. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Tell me. Teacher, in that sentence we can use its or her. Um, well, so I was explaining to some Teacher. of you that usually with animals we use it, right? So grammatically you should use the pronoun it and in this case, the possessive adjective, it's, when talking about something that refers to an animal. But if it's an animal that you really love, like your pets that are really special to you, then you could call them like he or she. So yeah, you could say like the cow ate hair food. In some cases, maybe if it's a really loved cow for you, <laughs> something like that, right? Depend the relation. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It depends on how much you love your cow. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yes, but um, grammatically, the correct thing is to call it it. So the cow mm. ate its food quickly, okay? All right, thank you. Next one, Francisco. Okay, they like a sport. Our favorite sport is rugby. Um, they like sports, we say. Our favorite sport is rugby. Our favorite? Are you sure? It says they like. Mm. Okay. They like sport. Uh, is your Yes. Mm. It's so it refers to they. That means here. Okay. We it's, it's really. Yes, they like sport. Their favorite sport is rugby. Exactly. Uh, sorry, uh, rugby pronunciation. Yeah, it's fine. Rugby. Rugby. Okay. Okay. Pretty okay, well. Teacher. But we say Thank their you. favorite sport. Yes. Number six, Marina. Okay. Is this fowl cat? No. Is this fowl cat? Yes. It's. It's it's a her, her no or he she cat <laughs> his cat exactly his cat thank you very well so we say yes it's his cat Paul's his cat. cat his cat okay okay next one Juan Carlos Juan Carlos Peña I have a pet. Her, yeah, I have a pet. Her name is Babu. Okay, so here again, if it's a pet that we really love, we could call it call it um, him or her. Um, so it could be like, I have a pet. Her name is Babu, or his name is Babu, or correctly in the grammatical way, it would be its name. Okay. I have a pet, its name is Babu. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Okay. Next one, Roxana. Teacher, I don't know. We bought it fruit yesterday. It's for we. So we bought. We bought. Can somebody help her, please? Okay. Out. Our. Thank you. We bow out. 
for yesterday. Very good. We bought oh, our okay, fruit thanks. yesterday. Okay, next one. Let's see who hasn't participated. Marina, can you help me with the next one, please? Okay, so let me read it and you tell me the correct possessive adjective. So we have, you are a boy and, what's the answer? His name is Mark. Um, are you sure about your, that? Your name. Your. Exactly. Your. You are a boy and your name is Mark. Your name is Mark. Your name. And number 10, I live in Paris with my family. My family. Very good. Very with good. My okay. Any questions with about my family. the answers or any of the sentences? No, it's clear. Okay, so let's move on to the yeah. object pronouns. So what are the object pronouns? Can you mention them? Mine, no? No, it's me. Just like me. Me. Exactly. Me. 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 Then we have? Your. You. 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 Him. Here. In. Him, here. It. Here, it. It. Us. Us. And them. Them. And them. Them. Pretty well. So here we have them. Again, they change depending on the subject pronouns. So for I, we have me. For you, you. It doesn't change. For he, we change it to him. She goes to her. It, it. It's the same. We, us, and they, them. Please repeat. Me. 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 You. 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 Him. 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 Hair. 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 It. 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 Us. 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 Them. 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 Okay, so now I have some practice for you. Again, I have some oh, campeo, 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 We campeo, are campeo. going to complete them using the correct object pronouns. So we have number one, let's see. You are very kind. I love you. Me. You. you, right? You are very kind. I love you very much. Very much. So we say, I love you. Next one, Hilda, help me with number two, please. The children will come soon. Will you, will you wait for, for me? For me? Are you sure? No, the children, no. Uh, the children. There. Them. For them. Them, them right? Them. 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 Okay, Sorry, so we care. say, okay, don't worry. Thank you. <laughs> so it goes like, the children will come soon. Will you wait for them? That them refers to the children, right? The children. Okay. Okay, next one, Marina. We are going for a welcoming with, with me. Me? With me? Are you sure? Yes. With us, right? Us. With us. Because with it us. says we. We are going for a walk. Come with us. If it was uh, only, if okay. it was with I, then we could use me. Like I am going for a walk. Come with me, right? Yeah. But in this case, we're using we. We are going for a walk with come with us. Come with us. Exactly. Vicky, can you help me with the next one? Um, this is James. Do you know him? Exactly. Thank you. Do you know him? We are referring him. to Jim. James, right? James. Him. Yes. James. Thank you. 
Next one, Silvia Roxana. How much is that dress I like? Mm, I like. No, no, teacher, I it, don't know. It, okay. So I like it. it. I like it, right? It refers to the dress. It. How much is that dress? I like it. Thank you. Next one. Let's see, Francisco. You and Theo are tall, but Theo is taller than her. You. Then. No sé, papi. No he tocado control aquí ahora. Guys, remember to check your microphones, please. Okay. You. So we say then you, right? You and Theo are tall, but Theo is taller than you. Okay, teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Next one, Juan Carlos. Where, where is my mom? I want to tell to hair to hair exactly it refers to my mom, mom. thank you yeah. juan carlos yeah. next one let's see franklin uh, we can't solve this can you help me we can it says we so check us. It. Us. sorry 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 us Exactly. We can solve this. Can you help us? Can you help us? us? Sorry, I confused, teacher. It's okay. Thank you, Franklin. Next one, Roxana Lisset. I can do that. Can you help me? Can you help me? Exactly. Very good. Next one, Rodrigo. This is my house. Do you like it? Do you like it? Okay, pretty well. That's how we use the object pronouns. Is it clear? Do you have any doubts? Excuse me, I have a question. Tell me. With the number seven. Yeah. In the last part, when you say, I want to talk. Mm -hmm. You have to use the word to yes so yeah in this case we always say talk to because i mean it's like in spanish right hablar con so that would be like the equivalent right okay talk to i want to talk to her okay and, well Good. there are some different verbs that require to for example um in an exercise in the platform you find listen to right what kind of music yeah. do you listen to? That's another one that takes two. Okay. So we say talk to, listen to, and we have some others, a couple of them. Okay, good. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. Okay, so now we are going to practice a conversation. First of all, we are going to listen to it, and we are going to answer some questions. Here I have them. The first one is, where are Dave and Susan going to go? When is the match? What time does the match start? Are they going to have dinner together? And what time are they going to meet? So let me play the conversation. You are going to listen and you are going to get the answers for these information questions. Okay? So please okay, teacher. take note of the questions. And let me just let's see. Let me send the questions to the chat so you have them. There you are. Okay, so I think we're ready to listen. 
Now pay attention to the conversation and get the answers to the questions. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay. Let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, did you get the answers? Did no, teacher, please repeat. Repeat, sure. please. Let's please. Again. <laughs> In the invitation, as you listen to the audio, I'd like to and I love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks, I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. In this Okay, how about this time? Did you get the answers or do you need to listen a third time? Yes, teacher, please. The third time. Listen one more time. Okay. Yes. All right. So there you go. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. All right, so let's see, we are going to check. Let me just get back to my presentation. So oh, let's see. Did you get the answer for the first question? Where are Dave and Susan going to go? The soccer. They are going soccer. to a, the soccer match. To a soccer match. That's right. Next one. When is the match? On the Friday. It's the on match Friday. is on Friday. Exactly. On Friday. It's on Friday. What time does the match start? The match eight. is going the, to start the, the at eight nine. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. At eight. At nine. Or nine. Okay. Nine. It starts nine. at eight. Here I have the conversation. It starts at eight. Okay. Start at eight. Exactly. Next question: Are they going to have dinner together? No, they are. No, no they, are. they are. They are. They are right. And the last one, what time are they going to meet? And the seven. And seven. The seven. Seven thirty. Seven thirty. Yes. So here we have the conversation so we can practice it. So first of all, I need you to take a look at it and tell me if you have any doubts about the vocabulary, about the meaning or the pronunciation. Any doubts? So the you... soccer math, math is uh, partido, juego. Yes, exactly. Yeah, it's like um, when fast goes versus Aguila, right? They have a match. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Mm -hmm. Match, what is the meaning, teacher? Partido de football. Okay, thank you. Okay. And how about this word gate? Do you know the meaning of that one? Yes, it's puerta. 
Puerta. Yeah, puerta, portón, right? Entrada. Yep, exactly. Okay, so I think we're ready to practice the conversation. Do I have two volunteers to read it? Me? I. My Me teacher. Me. And? I am Dave. And Franklin, okay. Yes. Uh, so okay. let's see, Franklin, you can start. Okay, uh, I have ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At eight. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, thanks. Okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Do I have any other pair to read the conversation? Me, teacher. That yeah, would be no. Roxana Lisette. Yes? Me, teacher. Me. Yeah. And me, teacher, can you say your, na your name, please? Hilda. Hilda. I don't know. Yes. Okay, so it will be Hilda and Roxana. Roxana, okay. you can start. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I love to. What time does it start? It starts at eight. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? So, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's meet in the, at the stadium before the match around the seven thirty. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Great. Thank you. So let's see, we are going to read it one more time with Morena, you wanted to participate, right? Okay. And who else? Do we have another volunteer? How about Francisco? Me teacher. Oh, okay, Juan Carlos. Sure. So Juan Carlos, thank you for volunteering. <laughs> so that would be Juan Carlos and Morena. Okay, teacher. Okay. Go ahead, please. I have a ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I... Sorry, is that me or we cannot hear her? Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. Thanks. Love to. What time does it start? It start at eight. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Mm, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the, at the stadium before the match around seven thirty. Okay, let me add the game. That sounds fine. See you there. Very good. Okay, now I need you to repeat, please. Tickets. 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 Thanks. 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 That sounds great. Great. That, that sounds, sounds great. great. That sounds, sounds great. great. Okay. Stadium. 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 Match. 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 7.30. 7.30. 7.30. 7.30. 7.30. 7.30. 7.30. 7.30. 7.30. 7.30. 7.30. 7.30. 7.30. 7.30. 7.30. 7.30. 7.30. 7.30. 7.30. 7
Would you like to go? And there we have the answer. I'd love to. I'd love to. Also, we have I'd like to, I'd like right? To. So now we are going to study how to use would. So by the end of this lesson, you will understand the use of would in questions and answers. So let's see. We use would for invitations and offers. For example, um, when I say, would you like, would you to, like go to, to go to a soccer match? Would you, would you like, like to go to a soccer to match? To soccer that would be an invitation, right? Then we have a second example. Would you like to come for would a you meal? Like, would you like to come for a meal? Would you like to come for a meal? Okay, so another invitation to go and eat together, right? To have a meal. Then we have, would you like a drink? Would you like a drink? Like a there drink. is an offer. Would you like a drink? And the fourth one is, would you like some soup? Would you like some soup? That's another offer. So please repeat, everybody. Would you like to go to a soccer match? Would you, would like, like, would you like to go to a, to a soccer match? match? Would you like to come for a meal? Would you like, would you to, like, to, come like to come for, for a, meal? a meal? Would you like a drink? Would, would, you would you like, like, like drink? a drink? Would you like some soup? Would you, would you like, like some soup? soup? So that's the way we make uh, questions using the word would. And well, the structure we use, as you see, is would. First of all, we start with would. Then we add the subject that in most of the cases would be you, right? Because you were asking the person directly. Would you? Then we may use the verb like. Would you like? And after that, in most of the times, we use a verb in the infinitive, like to go, like to come. Here, as you see, we do not have any verbs, right? Just like. So that's another way to make questions with would. And then after that, you just need a complement and a question mark. So it's pretty easy. Would you like to do? Would you like to go? Would you like to come? Would you like to drink? Or if you just want to omit the verb, and have another kind of compliment, that's pretty good. Would you like a drink? Would you like um, some water, for instance? Okay, so then let's review some ways to accept invitations. So we could say, thank you, I would love to. Thank you, I would love to. Or I'd like to, I'd like to. That sounds lovely. That sounds lovely. Or even you could change that word lovely for different adjectives. That sounds great. That sounds perfect. That sounds fantastic. Okay. And another way to accept an invitation would be what a great idea. What a great idea. Also, you could say thanks for your invitation. I'd be delighted to. Or you, can, you could simply say, sounds great, sounds great. And once again, you can change the adjective to sounds perfect, sounds nice. Another possible answer would be, that'd be wonderful, that'd be wonderful. Teacher. Tell me. Uh, the song great, suena bien. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Teacher, what is the meaning delight? I be delight to. Um, like um, encantado or, oh, I forgot the other word in Spanish. I would be delighted to. Um, like halagado. So it means you would be happy. It would be a pleasure for you, right? Okay, thank you. All right. Teacher, tell me. Can you back 
the question. Oh, sure. There you are. Yes, I have a question. Uh, the structure is wool, more subject, more black, more black, very infinitive. The infinity bear, I, I understand is to go, to come. Exactly. But in the third sentence, the question is, would you like a drink that is infinity? It doesn't take a verb. No, so I mentioned that in some cases you can omit the verb, like in these two sentences. Would you like a drink? So there we only have the verb like. And the same happens in the second one. Would you like some soup? So you are just offering something, but um, you are not expressing it with a verb, with another verb different than like. So that's another way you could uh, make offers. Uh, okay. okay, thank you, yeah. All right, you're nice. welcome. Okay, so now I need you to repeat. Thank you, I would love to. Thank you. Thank, uh, you. I, thank you. I, I would love, love thank you. to. I'd like to. I like, like, I like, I like to. to. That sounds lovely. That, that, sounds, sounds, that lovely. sounds lovely. What a great idea. What, what, a, great what a great idea. idea. What a great okay. idea. Thanks, Thanks for your invitation. For you I'd be delighted to. Thank, Thank you, you for, for your invitation. I'd be delighted. Sounds great. Sounds great. That'd be wonderful. That'd be, That'd be wonderful. wonderful. Okay, and also remember that the, this, here we see, for example, the apostrophe D that stands for would, right? For example, mm -hmm. I would. In the contracted form, it would become I'd, right? So that D stands for would. Okay, so that is for accepting invitations, but what happens when I refuse an invitation? So I do not accept. I say, I would like to, but I, for example, I would like to go, but I can't, or I would like to go, but I have to work. Another possible answer would be, I'd love to, but I, again, I'd love to come, but I'm too busy. Thank you for asking me, but I can't. Thank you for asking me, but I can't. I don't think I can. Sorry, I don't think I can make it. Okay, so please repeat, I would like I would like to, but I. Um, I would like, like, to, like but I, I, to, but I. I'd love to, but I. I, I love to, I I love to I, but I. Thank you for asking me, but. I, thank, thank you for, for ask, asking, asking me, me, but. but I, I, I don't think I can. I don't think I, I, don't can. Think I, think I can. can. I don't think I can. Sorry, I don't think I can make it. Sorry, I don't think I can make it. Sorry, I don't think I Okay, I well. can make it. So just with the first three answers, remember you have to complete them, right? So here, for example, I would like to go, but I have to work, for instance. Or I'd love to, but I, what can we say? Give me an example, no, please. But I have a class. But I have a class. I'd love to go, but I have a class. Or in the third one, thank you for asking me, but. I can. I can't. I'm too busy. I have to work. Again, um, my mom doesn't let me go, for but instance. I work late. I work late, definitely. 
So now in order to practice, we are going to make some invitations to our classmates. So let's see, um, Silvia Roxana, would you like to go out for some drinks? I like green coffee. You'd like to go, to go and drink coffee, okay, pretty good. So that's what you have to do. You have to make an invitation to a classmate and your classmate has to um, accept it or refuse it. So Sylvia, now ask one of your classmates. Um, Marina. Yes. Uh, Would you? ¿Cómo era la pregunta, teacher? So it would be, would you? And then you complete it. Would you like? And then you add your invitation. Would you like to? Um. Would you like to um, maybe to eat some something? Ah, okay. Would you like eat pizza hut? Uh, <laughs> thanks for thanks your for ask me, but I can't. All right, very good. Now, Marina, continue as a classmate. Make an invitation. Oh. Okay. Um, Francisco. Mm -hmm. uh, would you like... Would you like some soup? Yes, it's a great idea. Very good. Francisco, continue, please. Okay, Hilda. Yes, Francisco. Uh, would you like to go um, to the park? Sounds great. Okay, excellent. Hilda, continue, please. Uh, Rodrigo. Yes. Would you like to to go to go to the United States? Uh, yes, sounds lovely. Okay, good. Rodrigo, continue, please. Uh, uh, would you like to come with me? Who are you asking? Uh, I can see uh, Vicky. Okay, so great. Would you like to come with me? Some great. All right, excellent. So that's the way we use wood in order to make invitations and that's how we answer, right? We accept or we refuse the invitations. Do you have any questions about this topic? Maybe not. Mommy, not teacher. No. Okay, so pretty well, that's all for today's class. Thank you very much for paying attention. Take care and have a good night. Thank good you, night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you. See you, bye. See you. See you.